In Charleston, South Carolina, inside a dark laboratory, a scientist examines a large horseshoe crab. Carefully, he sets the large crab down, pulls out a giant syringe, and sticks it in between the plates that create the crab's tough exoskeleton. Slowly, a strange liquid is drawn out of the crab. It's blue. This is horseshoe crab blood, and to many people across the world, it's liquid gold. But why? Why is horseshoe crab blood so expensive? Well, it all started a very long time ago. In 1912, in pharmaceutical laboratories across the world, scientists in these labs had a big problem. The labs make millions of vaccines, but they couldn't tell if they were clean. Well, so they had no way of making sure that the vaccines didn't have harmful bacteria in them. If a vaccine has bacteria in it and it's injected into someone, the bacteria will get in that person's bloodstream. They could get very sick or die. The labs needed to make sure that their vaccines didn't have bacteria in them. So they invented a test, the rabbit pyrogen test. A pyrogen is something that causes a fever. So you can also call this the rabbit fever test. Well, what is this test? Well, take a look at this photo. There are a bunch of rabbits strapped to a board. This scientist right here took a small sample from a new batch of vaccines and is injecting that sample into this rabbit's ear. After the injection, they'll monitor the rabbit's temperature for a few hours. If nothing happens, that batch of vaccines is clean. But if a rabbit gets a fever, that batch of vaccines has bacteria in it. Well, that was the test. It took a ton of time, it took a lot of money, and it took a boatload of rabbits. 400,000 rabbits were used to test vaccines and medical equipment every single year until things changed in the 1950s. In a laboratory at the University of Miami, a scientist studying horseshoe crabs noticed something strange. He thought to himself, that is very strange. If he were Spanish, he might have thought, eso es muy extraño. And if he were French, c'est très étrange. So real quick, this year, I'm trying to learn a new language. And it seems like the best way to do that is through an app because they're super convenient and tend to focus on practical information. Gafas. And they also now have hands-free lessons. Donde están las gafas? And they have features where you can practice by having real conversations with a chatbot. Buenos dias. Buenas tardes. Uh, well, not all apps can do that, but the one that I'm using can and it's offering a 96% discount off lifetime access to every single language on the entire app. It's called Mondly. And if you'd like to learn a new language, you can access the sale through this link right here. Thank you Mondly for supporting this video. Back to that laboratory in Ohio. The scientists had discovered something inside the horseshoe crab that could replace the rabbit pyrogen test. Pharmaceutical companies went bonkers. They all flocked to this area of New England where the horseshoe crabs collected on the shore, harvested hundreds of thousands of them, brought them to the pharmaceutical labs, and they strapped them into these odd looking devices. Look at this. This is a lab where they're collecting blood from horseshoe crabs. These bottles are full of blue horseshoe crab blood. Here's a horseshoe crab. 
its tail or telson has been bent back. And if you look here, they've inserted a small syringe into the crab to drain its body of 30% of its blood. If the horseshoe crab survives, it will be returned to the ocean. But what's so special about horseshoe crab blood? Well, inside the crab's blood, scientists found special blood cells. When you break these cells open, isolate the materials inside, convert it into a liquid, and drop it inside a vaccine, something interesting happens. Nothing. Well, if nothing happens, that means the vaccine is clean and there's no bacteria in it. But if the sample forms a gooey gel, that means it's contaminated with bacteria. This is a new test, one that was more cost effective than the rabbit test. So pharmaceutical companies started using this method to test their vaccines and medical equipment. They call it the Limulus amoebocyte lysate test. Limulus is the genus of horseshoe crabs. An amoebocyte is that special blood cell. And a lysate is basically the material that they made from breaking open the special cells. So it's like the horseshoe crab special blood cell components test. This is the most widespread method of testing vaccines, medicines, and even medical equipment for bacteria across the world. And that's why horseshoe crab blood is so expensive.